Lesson 11.1b, Writing Equations to Represent Situations. We can represent some real-world situations with an equation. We can make a model first to help us organize the information. So our model is these boxes. We have the number of pages in the book, 160. If we subtract the number of pages read so far, which we have no idea how many they are, so we're going to put a P for pages, it will equal the number of pages left to read, which we do know is 40. We can use any letter of the alphabet as our variable, but lowercase l and o are typically not used because they might be confused with 1 and 0. Using the first letter of an object may help us keep track of what we're doing. We could use C for a number of cats, or D for dogs, M for the number of miles, or H for the number of hours. But A, B, C, N, X, and Y are used a lot. Sophia earned $30 walking her neighbor's dog for H hours, so it's some unknown amount of hours. Write an equation to represent this situation. We can see this includes a table of what she charges per hour for babysitting and walking a dog. Well, if she earned $30, we could do the $10 an hour, her price per hour, times how many hours she worked to equal the $30 she earned. It might make more sense to do the $30 she earned divided by the $10 per hour to find out how many hours she worked. Dave planted 36 tulip bulbs. 16 of the tulips are red and Y are yellow. So we don't know how many are yellow, so we're just going to use the variable Y for yellow. We can add the red tulips plus the unknown amount of yellow tulips to equal the total tulips, or this might make more sense. We'll take the total number of tulips and subtract the red tulip number to find how many are yellow. Bob is B years old. His six-year-old brother is half his age. We can model this as Bob's age divided by two to find half. When we divide something in two, we have halves, don't we? And that will equal the brother's age. Or we could do Bob's age whatever that is, b, and multiply it by 5 tenths for half, and that will equal the brother's age. We could also just use the fraction 1 half times b to equal the brother's age. Tala read 80 pages of a book. The book has 135 pages. She has p pages left to read. We can write this as an addition equation with the pages she has read so far, the 80, plus some unknown amount of pages left to read is equal to the total number of pages in the book, the 135. Or we can write it as a subtraction equation as the pages in the book minus how many she read so far is equal to how many she has left to read. We can take the words from a statement and write an equation. A number multiplied by 5 is 40, Remember, the coefficient is to the left of the variable. So if we're multiplying some unknown number by 5, we write 5 and then n, the variable. And it doesn't matter which order we multiply, does it? The commutative property of multiplication says we'll get the same product, but this is the correct way to write it with the coefficient to the left. 28 divided by a number is 4. We can write it as 28, a fraction bar, and then n for some number, and then is equal to 4. 6 times a number divided by 2 is 9. 6 times some unknown number, we could use 6x. And if it's divided by 2, we can draw a fraction bar with a 2 as the denominator, and it's equal to 9. Here we have 25 less than a number is 50. If it's 25 less than some number, then it's some number minus that 25, and it's equal to 50. So we finished the second part of this lesson. We're going to move on to the third part, writing an equation and checking the solutions. I hope this lesson was helpful, and I hope you join me for next time. Have a really nice day. Bye.